In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build muscle after 50, the most effective and efficient way without injury and without spending all day in the gym. In fact, I'm gonna show you how you can build muscle with less than one hour training per week and how to make massive strides in the gym by avoiding these three common mistakes. And in case you don't know who I am, I'm Simon H, the Naturally Jack 53 year old, CEO and founder of Mission Jack. And I'm going to share with you the methods that I've used to build muscle since turning 50. But more importantly, I've been using these same methods to help clients over 50 get in the best shape of their lives. Now watch this video right to the end because I'm going to be packing it full of tips and tricks you won't see anywhere else. So if you're ready, are you ready? Now let's grow. Now I've been lifting weights for well over 40 years and I've done my fair share of growing, but it wasn't until I turned 50 did I realize two really important things. One, how important muscle masses for men over 50. Optimal muscle health is crucial for a longer, healthier life. Individuals with superior muscle mass exhibit higher resilience against various diseases. Enhanced strength and muscle mass not only contributes to overall metabolic well-being, but also enhances mobility, creating a robust foundation for overall health. The second thing I learned was that I would have to do things differently. Because when you're young, you're living off a dream and a bag full of tests. But the older you get, the more consideration you have to give to other areas so that you can get the results without injury and without setback. But before we go on, the first question we need to ask so we can get a full understanding is why is it harder to build muscle after 50? Once we understand this, we can make better strides in the gym. The reason why it's harder to build muscle after 50 is because you haven't got youth holding your hand. You see, a few things change after you reach that glorious milestone. Recovery. We don't recover as fast as we used to after 50, so you have to play it smart. Hormones. As we age, anabolic hormones such as growth hormone and testosterone they decrease. The third reason why it's really hard to build muscle after 50 is anabolic resistance. Sometime after 50, your, your muscles start to respond less to training and eating. You still build muscle, but not as much as you used to. This phenomenon is called anabolic resistance. To counteract this, many people try and hit the gym four or five times a week. Believing more is better. But what ends up happening is they either run into recovery issues or they find themselves spinning the wheels and not getting the results they've been after. To make sure you don't hinder progress, you need to take an holistic approach, meaning that you need to consider things outside of the gym that will very much influence the stuff inside the gym. That's how you're going to get the best results. So before we take a deep dive into the training protocol, let me explain four of the elements that I use with my clients to help them maximize the results. The first stop is the land of dreams. Yes, you guessed it, sleep. Now, I know the allure of binge watching your favorite shows until the wee hours of the morning is strong, but hear me out. Sleep is your body's ultimate recovery mode. It's like hitting a reset button on your muscles. So if you want those big biceps after 50, make sure you're catching up on those Zs. I use nine really helpful tips for my clients who suffer from bad sleep. The next important element is gut health. Now imagine your gut is the command center that orchestrates everything that your body needs. A happy gut equals a happy muscle building factory. Probiotics, prebiotics, fibers, and all those good for you foods are the superheroes fighting off villains of information and digestive issues. Fixing my client's gut issues was central to them building muscle after 50. My clients use a four week protocol to restore their missing good bacteria. And by restoring good gut health, they could heal things such as SIBO, irritable bowel syndrome, gas, bloating, poor digestion. This can lead to better sleep, a stronger immune system, no more brain fog, better nutrition absorption, 
which all leads to better growth of muscle after 50. Now, I probably haven't got to tell you what the third element is, but I'm going to anyway. It's nutrition. It's the fuel that builds muscle after 50. Forget crash diets and embrace a balanced approach. It's time to treat your body like a temple, not a fast food joint, to unlock those best gains after 50. The last element, but definitely not the least important, is hormone optimization. Hormones are like the conductors of your muscle building orchestra. After 50, they might need a little pep talk. So I always encourage my clients to get their hormones checked out by a professional so that they can reach their ultimate best. Now I've laid a foundation to be more effective outside the gym, it's time to step inside the gym and stimulate that muscle. But there are three common mistakes I see people, especially men over 50, making. Now, if you want to grow big guns and get that physique that you've always wanted, here are the three mistakes you must avoid. Mistake number one, lack of intensity. Most people make the assumption that when they're going into the gym, if they just go through the motions and if they make their weight go up and down a number of times because somebody told them to and do a number of sets because somebody told them to, that they're going to get better and bigger and stronger. Now, regardless of the sets, the reps, the exercise, the training protocol, if an exercise isn't done with intent, none of that stuff matters. When you're exercising, what you're trying to do is send a message to your body that the environment is placing a demand that it sees its current capabilities so that it is a threat to your ability to move. Think about it. If you can't move, you can't obtain food and you certainly can't stop yourself from becoming someone else's food. Movement is absolutely essential for survival. And as a result, our bodies have adapted to any kind of stress that threatens our ability to move, starting with the muscles and then with the other supporting systems. Now, if you're trying to send that signal to your body that you want more muscle, whatever you're doing during an exercise has to be demanding enough that it is seen as a perceived threat to your ability to move. Your exercise has to fatigue your muscles to the point where you are momentarily incapable of further movement. Most people don't even get close to that. They style an exercise by picking a weight, and as soon as the exercise gets hard and they start breathing heavy and start sweating and it feels uncomfortable, they stop the movement and move on. If you stop the moment it starts to feel uncomfortable, think about it. You're not asking your body to do anything that it hasn't experienced already. If you stop and you're able to do it again after a short period of time, then you haven't trained hard enough that you are really threatening your body's ability to keep moving afterwards. Okay, so you don't have to go all the way where the weight's crushing you and you can't move. No, safety always comes first. But the closer you are to failure, the better the stimulus for muscle growth will be. The one factor more important than any other in determining whether or not you send that message to your body to produce improvements is how hard you're pushing yourself. Yes, it's gonna hurt and it will feel uncomfortable, but all of these are temporary and ultimately harmless if you're doing the exercise correctly. Now, if you're training hard enough that you're stimulating a growth response, you most definitely have to consider mistake number two, because if you don't, you could have disastrous results. Mistake number two, too much volume. Now, if you're training really intently, you need to be conservative with how much volume you're using so you don't overstress your body. You have a certain amount of energy and resources that your body can devote to recovering from the stress of a workout. It has to replace lost energy first before it can produce the adaptation stimulated by the workout. Remember what I said earlier? Age plays a huge role when it comes to recovery after a workout. In a minute, I'm gonna show you a protocol that will make two to three sets feel as if you've just done 15, and that's without drop sets, force reps, and triple sets. Now, before we do that, let's talk about mistake number three. You're doing too many workouts in close succession. If you're using progressive overload, either through reps or weight on the bar, as you lift progressively heavier weights, the stress on the body increases to the point that unless you add in extra rest days, 
the stresses will reach a critical point that they will contribute to overtraining and left too long, injury. I'm sure at this point you're wondering what kind of protocol could you be actually doing that's going to be very effective, that's going to get you in and out of the gym in less than an hour per week. Well, welcome to HIT training, aka high intensity training. High intensity training is a very short, very intense one to three sets per muscle group training protocol where you perform quality repetitions to the point of momentary muscular failure. Now this is by far the best protocol for building muscle after 50 because of the painstaking precaution to keep intensity in check, volume and frequency so that you don't overtrain. So what makes HIIT training so different to unconventional training? Well, let me tell you. Well, just like the standard strength training, you load a muscle with a weight and work that muscle onto a failure. However, one key point of difference with HIIT training is constant tension. You take the muscle to the point of failure by not letting the muscle rest during a set, by removing the lockout phase of each exercise. Constant tension isn't the only difference between HIIT training and conventional training. Another key fundamental to the effectiveness of HIIT training is the super slow lifting. So rather than use a two second concentric phase and a few seconds in the eccentric portion like you would do in conventional lifting, what we're doing is slowing things right down. So we're aiming for between five to 10 seconds on the concentric phase and five to 10 seconds on the eccentric portion of the exercise. Meaning that one repetition will take between 10 and 20 seconds to complete. So now that you have a super slow tempo combined with constant tension, in short, you're taking a particular muscle and stressing it to the point of absolute failure so that every muscle fiber has been recruited and then fatigued. Another major difference between HIIT training and conventional training is that with conventional training, you're required to use huge loads to build muscle. With higher loads, there's an increased forces and stresses on the body and greater chances of something going wrong. However, with HIIT, the loads are a lot less and due to the super slow speed of the lift, there is no sudden directional changes on the load, which is great for older guys to avoid stressing the joints and tendons. Plus, the more fatigued you become, the safer the lift gets, as you can't apply the same amount of force on the load. Okay, let's briefly talk about the workouts. We have workout one and workout two. Now, there are different rep targets for the upper body and for the lower body. But once you meet those rep targets, on the next week, you increase the weight. Now, you might be wondering, does the style of training actually work? Well, let me tell you. A research study discovered that lifting weights slowly led to a 50% increase in muscle strength over a period of 8 to 10 weeks amongst untrained middle-aged individuals. Subsequently, another study involved older adults reinforced this conclusion. In addition, a separate analysis revealed that using fewer repetitions with a slow lifting speed resulted in gaining the same amount of muscle compared to traditional lifting methods. This training protocol helps men over 50 build muscle by rectifying those three mistakes that I mentioned earlier while making their workouts more productive and safer. My clients make great use of the workout videos that accompany their coaching program. What's awesome about them is that they are easy to follow and they keep you motivated to be better every week because I'm not only your training partner on the video, but I'm also your coach and workout motivator. All you have to do is turn up and press play. So let's summarize building muscle after 50. First, you have to adhere to the notion that in order to be superhuman, you have to acknowledge the fact that you are only human. So you lay a solid foundation outside of the gym by improving your sleep, your nutrition, gut health, and hormone optimization. This will make it much easier to build muscle. Next, you have to avoid these three common mistakes. Training with not enough intensity, too much volume, too much frequency. After that, 
You must then use a training protocol that helps you to avoid making those mistakes while helping you to build muscle without the gym becoming your full-time job. The HIIT protocol, aka high intensity protocol, does exactly that, all while keeping you safe and motivated. Gentlemen, it's time to redefine what it means to be in your prime. Introducing the Muscle After 50 coaching program, the ultimate transformation journey designed exclusively for men like you who are ready to embrace strength, vitality, and a physique that defies age. Imagine a life where you're not only maintaining by elevating your fitness after 50, gaining more muscle, energy, and confidence with each passing day. It's not just a program, it's a lifestyle revolution. Why settle for the status quo when you can sculpt your body you've always desired, irrespective of age? This is your opportunity to break free from the limitations, shadow stereotypes, and step into a version of a better you that radiates power and resilience. What to expect? Tailored workout plans for mature bodies, nutritional guidance that fuels strength, expert coaching to maximize results, and a supportive community of like-minded men. Ready to embark on this transformation journey? Click the link now and book a call. Seize your chance to unlock your full potential and redefine what it means to be a man in his prime. Don't let age defy you, let's refine you. Your best years are yet to come. Act now and let's build a stronger, fitter and more resilient you together.